Malicious hackers target conference goers, a company is breached after reusing their old password, and Cisco reveals products affected by crack vulnerabilities. This is Hacker Daily for Friday, October 27, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. Warning for individuals interested in the SciCon conference. A cyber espionage group linked back to Russia has been attempting to deliver malware to targeted individuals using documents regarding a NATO-organized cybersecurity conference. According to Cisco's Talos research team, the attack has been linked back to the notorious APT-28 group, relying on office documents containing a VBA script. The goal was to deliver Setup Loader, which is a reconnaissance malware capable of capturing screenshots, collecting and exfiltrating information about the system, executing code, and downloading files. The CCDCOE published an alert on its website to warn people interested in the conference about the attack. It read, This is clearly an attempt to exploit the credibility of Army Cyber Institute and NATO CCDCOE in order to target high-ranking officials and experts of cybersecurity. In other news, an unknown attacker has taken over CoinHive's DNS server after the company reused their old password. The hacker replaced the legitimate CoinHive JavaScript in Browser Miner with a malicious version that mined Monero for his personal wallet. He also had full control over the company's domain name for about six hours. The company stated, The root cause for this incident was an insecure password for our Cloudflare account that was probably leaked with the Kickstarter data breach back in 2014. We have learned hard lessons about security and used 2FA and unique passwords with all services since, but we neglected to update our years-old Cloudflare account. Our current plan is to credit all sites with an additional 12 hours of their daily average hash rate. They also are currently looking into ways of reimbursing users who lost revenue for last night's traffic. And lastly, a new update in regards to the WPA2 vulnerability. Cisco stated that multiple Cisco wireless products are vulnerable to the recently uncovered key reinstallation attacks. Security researchers demonstrated how the crack vulnerabilities can be abused to decrypt traffic from enterprise as well as consumer networks. According to the company, no patches are available at this time for the 10 crack related CVEs. Currently, they list 69 impacted products affected by one or more crack bugs and said it's still assessing 25 additional products to determine if those are impacted as well. The company stated, Updates for affected software releases will be published when they're available and information about those updates will be documented in Cisco Bugs, which are accessible through the Cisco Bugs search tool. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets and use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.